So today's video review is going to be on Built Hamber's Atom Mac. Cue the music. Okay guys, today's review, Built Hamber Laboratories Atomac, which is their waterborne migratory anti-corrosive. All right, so it's an anti-corrosion system, not a, um, a corrosion removal system. So essentially using this to prevent um, sort of long-term corrosion and flash corrosion, um, i.e. what you see on your brake discs uh, after a wash, etc. Um, and that's where I see a, real, see a real niche for this, okay, a real need in the detailing world, hence why we're doing it on the channel today. <clears throat> so this is just about, just over £20, all right, you can shop around, get it for around about that £20, £21, £22 pound mark for 500 millilitres. Sounds quite expensive, but bearing in mind you're diluting this on cars when you're doing your suspension, all that kind of stuff, down to 5%. So to make up half a litre, um, which we'll be using, that's all you need, about 25 millilitres of the product. And indeed, if you're using it on things like motorbikes and push bikes, you're right down to 2%, all right? So it's, it's, it, you're getting a lot of value. That half a litre will make up a lot of product. You're not going to be using this all the time, and you don't need that much. Okay, so a quick read. Atomac is a migratory and contact corrosion inhibitor that is diluted in water before use. It provides protection against corrosion in both open spaces and hollow voids. So you can use this in the engine, um, your underside of your car, your cross members, um, your door shuts, um, in your engine, and all that kind of stuff. Wherever there is ferrous, um, sort of metal that is um, prone to corrosion, you can spray this, all right? So it, it's, it's fantastic for aesthetics, um, as well as a few um, sort of top tips on detailing, which I'm, I'm sure you'll agree, um, this has a particular benefit. Um, it goes on to say um, you can use it on collecting voids at door shuts, braking um, si systems, surface suspension, bicycles, garden equipment, and machinery, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so, um, I've been using it for a couple of months, okay, and I've seen um, um, some really positive um, sort of benefits. Now, Built Hamber Laboratories, you know we've seen their praises because they are very, very good and reputable company. Um, and I believe they started in corrosion treatment systems right at the start of the evolu evolution of the company. Um, and that sort of trend has carried on through. So they do a full range of corrosion prevention and corrosion treatment products, as well as all the detailing stuff that you've seen as advertised and seen the praises of, um, et cetera. So before I even test this, um, I'm expecting good things um, because so far the range hasn't let me down on anything that we've tested, which um, is, is the best praise I can give really. So we're gonna um, be using this on on um, the disc brakes okay so in terms of um, where I see the need for this um, if you're going to a car show or if you've just detailed someone's car and you put it through the full wash sequence we all know when you go and look at your alloy wheels okay and your discs they've got that orange haze of corrosion that flash corrosion now a that looks unsightly especially if you're at a show but also when you drive it away the brake pads are going to go against the disc and that fine powder of corrosion it is basically going to detach from the disc and fall down into the inside of the wheel which isn't good right undoing a lot of that hard work so if we can take steps to prevent that in the first place that's a good thing okay so aesthetics okay and to stop all those iron um, sort of um, particles going and embedded, embedding into your alloy wheels and all the good stuff that we've covered in previous videos. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna make half a litre. I'm gonna take one of the wheels off and we're gonna tape up one side of, of um, the disc, all right, and treat it. And then we're gonna um, subject it to some citrus, some snow foam, some shampoo, lob loads of water off it on it. I'm just gonna let it, um, set the camera up on a fast mode and I'm just gonna let you watch what, what happens. And hopefully if this works, you'll see the untreated side develops that orange corrosion, that flash corrosion on, on one side. And if this treatment is working, okay, it's gonna be reduced or if not clear, all right? And if it works, obviously once you've done your car um, at home, just spray some of this um, around um, after in case you get any dropping water, all right? Another good thing about this one is if you, um, if you are, um, Sorry about that, blooming mobile phone went off. So where was I? Oh yes, another good need is if you are um, keeping your car in a garage, if it uh, only comes out uh, 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 in the summer, or it's a show car, or you're way with work and you're leaving your car here, an application of this or a couple of applications will just help 
okay, that corrosion stopping and disc breaks. And we all hate it when we come back from work, if we've been away for a week or a month, etc., and then we find that binding, okay, because it's actually the brake pads and the disc are sort of fused together, okay. So um, um, lots and lots of good purposes. And once again, only you will know if you need this, all right. But from a detailing point of view, hopefully this test is going to show a good need. So uh, let's get the wheel off and then let's tape up one side. Okay folks, as you can see the wheel's off and I've um, carefully taped up this half of the disc so we're going to get no product on this side. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the exposed brake um, disc with the product and then I'm going to let it dry. Okay, um, I'm quite happy to spin it around so no one thinks because we've got the um, calipers there that there's going to be some kind of difference. We're going to subject it to the exact same test so that size is not treated. So like I say, when you're doing this at home, you can put it all over your suspension springs, all over your suspension, anywhere that's exposed metal. Okay, just give it a blat if you're taking the time to get the wheel off. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, be quite liberal. Spray it on. Okay, let it drop off, drip off. Okay, and we'll come back and start the testing, subject it to some chemicals when this is dry. Okay guys, so that's it now, that side's dry. And um, there wasn't much migration onto this side, so we should have quite a definitive line. Um, and then we're gonna apply some products. So just to make sure I'm not cheating or anything to make, I'm gonna um, keep rotating that. So in here, <coughs> I've got a strong concentration of snow foam fluid and a, a very, very strong concentration of car shampoo. Now we're going to do this test first, then I'm going to hit it with something a bit more aggressive like Corosol. So we'll see whether you need to reapply it after each phase of cleaning. Okay, I'm going to leave that on for a little bit. I'm going to rinse it off and then I'll set up the fast mode to see what happens and then see if we get a result. Um, and then um, apply some Corosol. Um, which has got the fallout and see if there's much chemical resistance. It might be the case whereby you need to reapply each phase. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll test that. So give it a good rinse. <coughs> Plenty of water on that. No cheating, there's no point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up on a fast mode and see what evolves, if anything, in front of our eyes. Okay, guys, that's it left an hour now um, I'm going to take some photographs as well, okay, <clears throat> but that's the, that's the line there. This was the protected side and that was the unprotected side. And today, if you can see, protected, there's all that nasty stuff we're trying to avoid, all that sort of flash corrosion, okay, and I think it's quite clear. Look at the difference. Okay, now there are bits of rust there but it's it's been pulled across and that's where I try to keep it fair and rotate this so I didn't get sort of bits that look clear there okay that's just drag some corro that's a drag and corrosion but I can't sort of do this test any fairer than that okay it definitely definitely works all right and I'm really really quite pleased with those results Okay, so I think it's quite clear there. Now, what I would say is if I was doing this, um, I'd probably do my citrus. It, it proves that it sort, of, um, um, sort of provides a barrier against things like citrus pre-washes pre and snow foam and shampoo. Okay, but you can go and apply it. So you may want to do your citrus and your snow foam, okay, and rinse it all down, apply it again. Okay, you might have to roll your car forward just to get the bits that are hidden behind there. All right, and then, um, do it right at the end okay one thing I will say is it's not it's not some kind of armor because if I do that and I do that in fact it does provide a bit of protection look okay so that's the unprotected side immediate dark front there is and that is considerably 
less. Okay, so I'd, I'd say, I, you know, being fair, it's not going to protect against things like, you know, neat auto wash or Corosol or any other fallout spray, etc. But you can see it's offering some kind of protection against it. All right, but in terms of, you know, you go into a show, you've driven there, get some on your alloy wheels, you know, it, it, this is proof that it's going to protect it against if it starts raining and all that kind of stuff. And stopping that, all this nasty corrosion, that flash corrosion when you're washing your car, because all that, when you drive your car, is just going to get dislodged when the brake pads come on and all that dust is going to fall into the inside of your alloy wheels. All right, and, and a, a, it's going to damage it. Okay, and that's my mobile phone going off. So I'm just going to cut this for a second. Okay, I've answered my phone. Okay, so th there's the proof. All right, so I hope that's a fair and honest review um, that just shows you the applications and detailing. Like I said, you can use this uh, um, anywhere in the car. So uh, I just put the wheel back on and we'll have a quick summary. Okay guys, I'm not gonna kick the arse out this summary. I think the video demonstration um, does, uh, says it all. Okay, so built hambers, Atomac, waterborne, migratory, anti-corrosive, all right? Um, it works, that's all I'm gonna say, all right? And I expected it to work. Um, some top tips, as we usually do, um, spray on, let it dry, okay? Remember the water is just a carrier, okay, to allow it to get into all the um, nooks and crannies. Um, let that sort of a water flash off to leave the protective coating um, on, in our case, the, the disc or wherever you're, you're spraying it. Um, if you're doing a full detail, I'd um, um, spray it on, do your citrus snow foam, spray it on again, do, you, do your shampoo, do your rinse down, okay? And then um, once you've dried it using an air dryer, okay, um, you know, get someone straight away um, to give that sort of longevity, that protection after the wash process. Um, also, you can use it on anything really. Okay, so bikes, motorbikes, garden um, sort of furniture, garden machinery and all that kind of stuff. So it's a very versatile product. Um, yeah, 21 pound, bit of an outlay initially, but bearing in mind you're using it at two to 5%. Um, that tiny little bit gave me half a, a litre and I've still got absolutely loads left, all right? So you're not gonna be using it all the time. Um, observations, um, it does have limitations, all right? It's not gonna protect against really aggressive chemicals like neat fallout sprays and all that kind of stuff. Um, but in terms of protecting against sort of water, dirt, pH neutral stuff like uh, pH neutral shampoos, snow foams, all that kind of stuff, you've seen it works, okay? There's no trickery um, in, in involved in this M test whatsoever. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. If you've used it before, okay, leave a comment either on Facebook or YouTube, or if you've um, found other applications that you wanna share with a group, fantastic. I'm gonna put this wheel back on um, and um, think about the next review.